Well hi everybody. Uh, I decided to rise and shine this uh, Saturday morning and uh, get out one of the phonographs that I've not yet featured in any of my videos. Uh, and certainly this is definitely uh, one of my favorites. This is a 1901 Columbia Model AB graphophone designed by Thomas Hood MacDonald. Um, it's actually called the MacDonald uh, graphophone, but it's kind of a misnomer. Thomas Hood MacDonald designed quite a few of the uh, Columbia graphophone models. He was a superb engineer, very innovative, uh, and uh, this is uh, a nice example of, uh, of his work. Uh, some of the interesting features about the Columbia Model AB uh, are that the very uh, beautiful, heavily nickel-plated works that are all open, as you can see. And there's the uh, horn. That's an original horn there. But... Uh, can see, I'm sorry about the reflection here, I have additional lighting here, and of course I'm taking images here, or footage at a bad angle, but anyway you can see a little bit of the, uh, the nickel plating here. Uh, this is all original nickel plating on this. Um, some of the nice features here is a uh, speed control, right there, it uh, has a uh, the speed right there which is kind of nice in RPMs and of course uh, the on off switch here which is off right now and this one has the original key which you can identify pretty easily by the wear mark there where the thumb the people put their thumb right here as they're turning the crank or turning the uh, the winding key here so that's whenever you find a winding key that has wear right there where the thumb would go you can bet that's an original anyway so moving around here you can see uh, it's got the original reproducer there and uh, I just can't say enough about these machines. They're just gorgeous. Uh, uh, of course, uh, the nickel plating is is really attractive on these. A nice platform with some carving on the oak. Um, and this right here allows, if you were to unscrew this little uh, wing nut here, it allows for this entire uh, mandrel to move down to accommodate the grand cylinders which is the the large five inch uh, uh, grand cylinders I don't have mine on right now and as you can see I don't have the uh, the nut put on either but anyway I want to show you this go around my light here from a few angles for any of you who are considering a uh, purchasing a uh, Columbia AB McDonald machine you'll love them it's just fantastic this one needed a new spring actually it needed both new springs and so I uh, replaced both springs and uh, now she purrs like a kitten so anyway I thought I'd give you a quick uh, look at the Columbia AB McDonald from uh, several different views and when we return in just a few seconds I'm going to play for you a uh, very early brown wax cylinder for my collection.
featuring Len Spencer, one of our favorites. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in a, a few seconds, okay? Thanks. Okay, we're back here, and I have mounted uh, one of my early uh, Brown, Columbia brown wax cylinders on uh, my Columbia AB. And uh, we're going to play for you Whistling Rufus, the one-man band, sung by Mr. Len Spencer for the Columbia Phonograph Company of New York and Paris. And I hope you enjoy this. I really enjoy uh, the real early uh, brown wax cylinders. They're so hard to find in nice condition. And this one is in, in especially nice condition. So here we go. enjoyed it. 